Hi. I know you haven't seen me in a while because I've been talking about the bird lately and doing my pepper videos. Um, I wrote something earlier that I really wanted to share here on my vlog as well. And uh, it's called I Carry a Flashlight. And you can see it um, on WordPress at tracyseekins.wordpress.com. I'll put a link below. That's where you can see a lot of my writing if you want to. But I'm going to read this one to you. It's called I Carry a Flashlight. There isn't always a rainbow in the storm, but you can always close your eyes and see one in your mind to create a smile. There isn't always a silver lining, but you can always sew one in. Life doesn't always smell like a bed of roses, unless of course you plant one right outside your door. Sometimes life doesn't feel like those wonderful cliches that are supposed to make us feel so much better. There isn't some wonderful light at the end of the tunnel, but Hey, I carry a flashlight because I refuse to let the dark overtake me. Sometimes we have to be our own hero. Sometimes we have to create the good within the bad. And sometimes we just have to suck it up and keep moving. I've had those days when I felt like just giving up and letting go. Laying down and never getting up. And somehow I'm still here. I'm still breathing. I'm still moving forward. And somehow... I still have a smile on my face most of the time. Life has not been fair, but honestly, whoever said it would be. I've had what I consider more than my share of difficulties, but then who's to say what my fair share of difficulties were in this life? When something new comes at me, some, some new difficulty comes at me, I do a few things. First, Remember, it's not personal. Life, or the universe, or God doesn't have some secret agenda to ruin my day. Nobody's out to get me. There isn't some greater force trying to make me quit or seeing how much I can take. It's just a part of life. Crap happens. Second, remember, it could be worse. There are so many terrible things that could happen in my life which have not, I have not had to experience, and I count myself fortunate that this is not one of those. Third, I count my blessings. When something happens, like my truck not starting, after we just spent all of our money, uh, and still not starting, I look around and count my blessings. I become overly grateful for the people I have in my life, for my wonderful pets, for friends who are really there for me, for warm blankets on soft beds, and whatever else I can be thankful for. I just keep counting until I can smile. And usually that only takes me getting to my husband to smile. Fourth, I take a break. Maybe I go to sleep, especially if it's late. Maybe I play a game or watch TV or something else. Whatever I can find that helps, I just take a break from the reality that is causing me the stress. It'll be there when I wake up or in a couple of hours. Now keep in mind, sometimes there are times when it can only be a five minute break because it has to be dealt with right away. But even if it's only five minutes, I take a break. Walk away, take a breath, and think before I come back to it. And fifth, I make a plan. Once I've calmed myself a bit and can look at the situation with sort of a fresh perspective, I sit down and make a plan of how I'm going to deal with it. What can I do that will alleviate my stress and change the situation I'm dealing with? There's always a choice. What choices do I need to change to change the circumstances that are creating my stress? These are just some basic steps, and they're often carried out between sobbing, screaming, and other such histrionics. They are often carried out with an aching heart, a racing mind, ears ringing, or other physical reactions to stress. I am prone to what I call ODR, which is Overdramatic Response Syndrome. This is my own little made-up syndrome, but I think a lot of people suffer from it. Because I'm often carrying out these positive steps, despite myself. I do carry a toolbox in my mind, and I add to it as needed. Within my toolbox are things like this. A rainbow for super rainy days. Silver ribbon for sewing in those silver linings. A picture of me and my husband holding hands. A blessing that can always make me smile. Funny things my children have said to make me laugh. 
other people's horror stories, so I remember that I'm not the only one with troubles, and it can always, always be worse. And I always carry a flashlight, because there isn't a light at the end of every tunnel, and sometimes I have to turn on my own light, pick up my head, and march myself out of the dark. And sometimes we all have to do that. So don't forget to carry a flashlight. I'll see you soon.